the Chinese government, and the AZA is sort of secondary to that whole discussion. We will get the pandas based on our long-standing local record of good animal policy, great animal care, and a, and a very, very uh, invested zoo community. We don't regret the decision that City Council made regarding the Oh, I don't regret that at all. Uh, the elephants are going to a very healthy place. I have to ask myself if this decision is really based on an issue of pause, who give excellent care to elephants, have fundamentally refused to be members of AZA because they feel that the funds that they would spend on zoos ought to be spent on animals. Some of the zookeepers are, are involved in leadership positions in Kaza and AZA. Do you think this is related to that? Is this sort of payback for them for sending the elephants away? Well, if that were the case, then I think they, they ought to have come to the City of Toronto and spoken to Toronto City Council. But I can tell you this, there are animal organizations in this nation and in America who uh, uh, fight every day for good policy around animal care, for animals in captivity and outside of captivity. And uh, their uh, focus is not on, on uh, due collecting and travel uh, uh, generating associations. It's based on the zoos themselves and the animals themselves. And we're going to continue to focus in that direction in the city of Toronto, the Toronto Zoo. Councillor, why not just leave the elephants in this the, the, the Toronto Zoo, it has been proven numerous times, is not the healthiest place for these animals to be. There is uh, rooms full of evidence to say that animals should not be in a winter climate, whether it's outdoors in a winter climate or standing in small confined spaces on cement inside during the winter. That is not the place for an animal that really needs to run 30 kilometers a day. Thank you. Thank you.